So our major, uh, the Army's number one priority is developing leaders. What are the things that you've been doing here during your uh, two years in U.S. Army Europe to help develop young leaders? Well, first and foremost, I think what we've done here is show that how important it is to developing leaders. And we are very fortunate in, in our theater to give them experience of both our allies, um, not only in exercises, but also bringing them to our great NCO Academy. So they get an opportunity to train together before they deploy together. I've heard somebody describe U.S. Army Europe as the leadership lab for the Army. Uh, what, do, what do they mean by that? So when you think about our leadership laboratory that we have here in USER, what impresses me the most is how units are being very creative and adaptive in developing leaders, uh, not only to meet Army requirements, but internal requirements too, that's specific to their organizations. One of the most valuable uh, components of our leader development program is the Warrior Leader course, uh, and you have personally been involved in making sure that that course is effective, that we're able to manage the throughput, and plus you've uh, brought in our allies. What makes the Warrior Leader course uh, so effective here in U.S. Army Europe? Uh, we have fantastic cadre uh, that are instructors, are the examples of fit and discipline and, and well-trained. And what's very unique about our NCO Academy is that on average, we have five to ten international students that attend every course. So when we talk about en enabling the alliance, what better place than to get to know each other than at that junior level during that course? You know, one of my favorite things that you've done is to take young sergeants from across U.S. Army Europe on uh, staff rides. You know, you've taken them to Bastogne and uh, other places. That's not the typical training audience, actually, um, for a staff ride. Why do you do that? Well, we do it for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, they're the future of our Army. And if we really want to establish a trust with the institution, let's highlight what's great about our institution and, and be able to show them uh, what makes our Army great is the people. Well, I like your idea so much, I'm, I'm copying it. Uh, we're going to take a bunch of young company commanders uh, from across U.S. Army Europe on a staff ride in May. Uh, I thought it was a great idea to, to reach that level of young leaders, investing in them, because uh, they're going to be leaders in the future for us. And, and sir, and I, what I really think is great about here is we have all these great and historical sites that we can take our soldiers to to highlight what's great about our Army. I believe that one of the most important principles of leadership is a willingness to step forward and accept responsibility. That's why I think U.S. Army Europe is a leadership lab for the Army. Well, sir, I think there's no better place than what we're seeing going on in Operation Atlantic Resolve. The non-commissioned officers truly understand the NCO creed and they're out there executing uh, to the standard, knowing that first and foremost is accomplishment of their mission and taking care of their soldiers. Yeah, I don't think there's anywhere else in the world where you've got a company size element is the U.S. Army element in an entire country. So you've got a, a cavalry troop commander or an airborne company commander or a logistics company commander with his or her first sergeant. And that's it. They're the senior Americans in an entire country uh, as part of it, Operation Atlantic Resolve. And, so, and that is the best example of mission command. The trust that seniors have with junior organizations to go out and do the right thing. Sergeant Major, as you prepare to go take over as Command Sergeant Major of U.S. Army Training and Doctrine Command uh, and you reflect on your time in Europe, what are some of the aspects of U.S. Army Europe uh, that stand out in your mind? Well, sir, I can, I can think of three things. First is good quality training. Uh, that is the best thing that we can do for our soldiers to make sure that they're successful. Secondly, I would say the role of culture. Uh, we're very fortunate to have 51 countries in our area of responsibility, and culture is hugely important in future operations. And in our leadership laboratory, our soldiers are getting exposed to it in OAR, and they're also getting it at our NCO Academy. And then lastly, I would say about relationships. Relationships truly matter, whether it's not only up and out, but also with our alliance to make sure that we establish those relationships in a peacetime before we have to deploy together. Well, Sergeant Major Davenport, you have uh, been training soldiers for over 30 years. I'm obviously very proud of you uh, to be selected as uh, the Command Sergeant Major for U.S. Army Training and Doctrine Command, where you can take the uh, experiences of the leadership lab in U.S. Army Europe and spread that to the rest of the entire Army. Congratulations. Thank you.